So hi and welcome to another Shopify dev related video. In this video, I will show you how I got from this into this to get my Shopify app prepared for approval for the build for Shopify batch. And I will show you the previous setup and the current setup that I managed to do to get my Shopify app to the current performance metric that your Shopify app need to have to get approved for build for Shopify batch. So this was the previous a large contentful paint for my Shopify app and I will show you the current one. So I will refresh the page so we'll see the latest version. So as you can see here, at some point it was 11 seconds and right now it's under 2.5 seconds, which is the requirement to get your Shopify app approved for build for Shopify badge. And you might see that I don't have a lot of load, but because a lot of things happen in the Shopify storefront and also in the webhook handler. And currently we are less than 2.5 seconds, which is what Shopify need to get your Shopify app approved for Shopify, as I mentioned before. So currently I will show you the previous setup. So I was, I'm, I'm still using the Shopify remix template and I'm hosting the Shopify app over Vercel on the pro plan and the super base on the free plan. So currently I am no longer using either Vercel or Superbase to be able to host my database or my Shopify application. And I switch all over to Google Cloud. I'm hosting the database and the web application over Google Cloud. And I'm using Cloud Run and Cloud Build to be able to build my Docker image and server it using Google Cloud Server. And a quick disclaimer that I would like to mention, I got access and I have credit from Google Cloud for their startup program. So I get some credit to be able to use that for hosting and for some AI stuff in my Shopify application. And this doesn't affect or impact my opinion. I'm not sponsored by any of this hosting provider. I'm just sharing my personal experience. For me, one of the problems that I have with virtual is virtual itself serverless function. So I'm using it to host my Remix application, but with serverless, each time I receiving an API request to my application, I will be making a quick connection to the database from the shared connection pool, which is currently is 200 max. And for example, one of the days I receive a lot of webhook event from the email service provider because I send a lot of email. So I'm expecting some webhook to be able to update the status of the email. But with that, I exceed the 200 limit that I have from Superbase from uh, the connection limit and my app keep rushing and no one can log it in and use the app. So a lot of connection was used by the webhook. So this is one of the problems that I have with virtual. It's a serverless function. So I cannot have a long running DB connection. So this is one of the things that I think about choosing not only Google Cloud, but a virtual private server instead of using a serverless function because um, I, at some point I will be receiving a lot of uh, API requests to my application and I cannot serve all the connection because I will not have enough available connection to be able to use in my Remix application. In the Shopify Remix application, you already have the Docker file, so you can just change it and to be able to generate a Docker image and use it on the virtual private server. And also one of the problem that I have with the previous setup is the latency between the virtual and superbase was a bit long. So I cannot have the fastest connection between virtual and superbase because they are on different region. And one of the thing that I like about the Google cloud setup, and you can do it for other provider that I can have the database and my web server on the same region. So I will have less latency between my web application and the database, which will improve the performance of the application. Because uh, for the application, I did a lot of optimization to lazy load uh, the component, the React component, and also differ critical data so I can load them later on because they are not critical data. And also add an index to the database. Even with that, I cannot even get to the requirement that Shopify have, which is the 2.5 second. And if you have other solutions, just let me know in the comment section and I would love to check them out. And for me, this is the setup that I'm currently using to get 
to that performance that Shopify is looking for. So I'm hosting the application in Google Cloud. I'm using Google Cloud Run to be able to serve the Docker image. I'm connecting my GitHub repo with the Cloud Build to be able to automatically generate the Docker image after pushing the new changes to the main branch. And after that, I will be serving the latest version. And also I'm hosting my Postgres database on the same region as my cloud run. I will have less latency with the application. And for me, this solution, it's much better than having a serverless function, either virtual or other provider. If you already managed to find other solution to be able to optimize your Shopify application for performance, just leave it in the comment section and I would love to check it what other people are doing to be able to optimize the performance of the application. And thank you so much for watching.